Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Cobbs. This is a uh, neurosurgical case of a very interesting um, patient who presented with a seizure and had, a, I believe, an accident due to the seizure. When he was evaluated for the seizure, they did an MRI of the brain and they found that on the back of the right side of his head in this region, there was an abnormality that looked like little cysts or bubbles. Um, and uh, I evaluated him and I felt that this uh, area was consistent with a very, very uh, benign and very, very rare type of brain tumor that's usually seen in children uh, called a DNET. Um, it stands for a complicated word, dysembryoplastic neuroepithelial tumor. Um, these are World Health Organization grade one tumors. They usually uh, can be cured with surgery. Uh, and another thing is that often if they occur in the temporal lobes, which are this, the, the parts of the brain um, and, and right behind your eyes, they can really be highly uh, causative of seizures. And if you remove them, the seizures usually go away. So in this patient who actually drives for a living as a race car driver, having anything that causes seizures is obviously a, a very, um, difficult thing to deal with. So um, we saw the patient, we evaluated him, and uh, what you're gonna see is my interview with the patient and how we have set him up for the surgery. And um, we removed these uh, cysts using stereotactic guidance uh, and navigation in the surgery. Okay, we're gonna do the surgery today. We got you uh, under this thing called a bear hugger. It's a warming blanket because it gets cold in the operating room and before surgery. And um, you came into the hospital like a couple months ago after you had a seizure. We did a uh, MRI and it showed that you had this unusual pattern of little bubble looking things in the right parietal region of your brain. Right. And uh, we looked at them and uh, if you look at them, they, if you look here on your MRI, it's these little bubbly looking guys here. Yeah. And they thought, the radiologist thought it could be something called multinodular and vacuolate, vacuolating neuronal tumor, which is not really a tumor, but it's a thing that wasn't even described until 2016 as a new kind of thing. Probably just some benign cysts. It could be something called a DNET, which is a disembryoplastic neuroepithelial tumor. These are also super benign. But anyway, these things can cause tickling of the white matter tracts and seizure activity. So we have you on a seizure medicine. In planning for the surgery, we got a thing called a functional MRI. And you can see here, this is your right occipital lobe. And that's where vision is processed and is on the left side of your field of view goes right through these optic radiation pathways and we can see that they're just on the inside of where these little bubble guys are um, so the goal of the surgery is to get in there and try to remove those little guys those little bubble guys but not to go any further toward the midline than right there because I don't want to interfere with your field of vision. If I were to do that, you might lose a little peripheral vision on the left side of your field of view, but we're not going to let that happen, okay? Okay. So I think everything should go well. We're going to use a computerized uh, navigation system to make sure when we go in, we're right here, and it should be pretty obvious under the microscope what these little guys are, and then we'll remove them, and hopefully that will prevent you from seizures in the future. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks again for uh, participating in this. And I'm sure there will be people out there who will really be interested to know what this is all about since it's kind of a rare thing. Yeah. Thank you for taking care of me. All right. Well, here we are in the operating room. Our patient is in pins. These pins hold his head very still. And it's made out of carbon fiber because our stealth navigation thing uses radio, mag radio frequency, a magnetic frequency to locate. We have registered his m brain to the MRI and we've identified that this is where those little cysts on the brain are. If you look up to the stealth, 
station, you can see, if you'll hold that right there, that these little cysts where that pointer is are right under the pointer. So we're gonna open a little bit of bone here. We're gonna go in and we're gonna remove these cysts and hopefully that will help him get rid of these seizures. So we have all this stuff hooked up. He's got a breathing tube in to uh, give him oxygen. He's got an IV that gives him other medications. He's getting saline, lactated ringers, um, and other drugs are coming in over here. Phenylephrine, remifentanil, things like that that are used to keep the patient asleep. Over here we have the back table in the operating room with all the little things we use. These are little cotton uh, things called patties that we use when we're operating to help prevent bleeding. These are all the instruments. There's some gloves. Um, we got the drill here that we use to drill into the skull. Um, and we have all these little instruments, plating system for when we plate the uh, bone back together and all the clamps and everything we use during surgery, retractors and such. So light handles, drapes, everything blue is sterile, including this nice young lady right here. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna prep this area with our sterile prep and then make the incision about right here and then go in and remove those little cysts and hopefully that will cure him from these seizures. Well, good morning. You had your surgery yesterday. We went in on the back side on the right. Can I see where your incision is? Okay. And we removed that, um, those cysts. Okay. Can you look right here at my nose? Do you see my hand waving out here? I'm going to wave way out here on your left side. You can, can you see that in your peripheral vision? Yeah. No problem with that. See everything over here okay? Yeah. Great. Well, let me show you what we did. Do you have any other problems right now other than just being kind of tired? Uh, just blurry vision a little bit, but... That'll get better. That's probably just all the anesthesia and everything. Okay. Let's look over here for a second. So, remember before surgery you had all these little bubbles down here? Yeah. Well, this is the MRI we got last night, and this is just the space that's there now after removing that. You can see we took a little piece of bone off from here to here. Mm -hmm. We went in and we removed those little guys. My hope is that by removing those little bubbles or whatever they are, we will uh, prevent those seizures. Now we sent them to the pathology department. It'll take a few days for them to tell us what it is. It could be any of those unusual little benign things that we discussed prior to surgery. Okay. So the plan will be to get you up with physical therapy, walking around, eating, drinking, and maybe get you out of here today. How about that? Sounds good to me. Okay, well, thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you. After the surgery, the patient was seen by one of our neuro-oncologists, and he was placed on Keppro, which is a seizure medicine, but uh, he had problems with depression and side effects of the Keppra, so it was changed to another seizure medication. The goal will be to uh, see if we can get him off the seizure medication, and he will probably need to have this tumor followed every year or two for a while. Uh, they hardly ever grow back, but it is possible they can. Um, and hopefully um, we will also, working with neurologists, be able to get him off of his seizure medications so that um, he can be seizure free.